how the quarterbacks look. That's all. That's going to be the big story until something happens. Yeah, they look good. I mean, they all look good. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, Brands the the guy we thought he was uh, so far. He's looked great. And, uh, you know, Colts look good, and Seneca's look good, and uh, Thad. So I mean, we're you know we're excited to, to see them all get in there and, and, and throw it around this week. Any uh, further discussion on what to do with Cold and or Seneca? No, not at all. Nothing. Just uh, you know, hey, we want to see these guys all come on there and, and you know throw the ball around, and uh, you know if something happens, great. If it doesn't, you know we're fine with you know, whatever happens. One of the big things, uh, of course, reporters will be looking at. It might not be as big to you, but. Everybody's going to want to know when the first team lines up, who's taking those snaps. Yeah, you know, that you can't look into that at all. I mean, we're, there's going to be so many different, you know, we have such even the linebackers, uh, defensive line, we're going to be rotating the guys all over the place. So it's uh, going to be, uh, you know, I wouldn't look at anything you see out there. I wouldn't take it, you know, take it for what it's worth. It's just, you know, we'll see it. You know, we got a long way to go before we plan it. Do you expect that Phil Taylor back in 2012? Oh, 100%. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about that. Uh, you, know, we, you know, we think he'll be, he'll probably be, end of October, early November, but he'll definitely be back, no question about that. Was this something discovered in surgery last Wednesday that gives you that confidence? No, it's a normal, you know, it's a normal recovery, you know, six months probably, you know, at the the most would be, you know, that's being very, very uh, cautious, so, you know, he could be, you know, back earlier than that, but, you know, he'll be back at some point. Do you have to worry about that position more, just because it seems like, you know, you're in traffic all the time, you got your arms extended? Nah, not really. I mean, it's just, you know, once it's healed, it's healed. You know, he should, you know, I think he would start lifting everything after four months. And so, yeah, no, it, it's, you know, it's no different than So is it not as serious as DeQuell's tear? Or? No, I wouldn't say that, no. You know, DeQuell's the one that, that, that when I was here with as the second one. That right. was the issue. Yeah. You know, for us, it wasn't, you know, just, uh, and he did it where, unfortunately. In August. Yeah, August, yeah. Where, you know, we, have, we can pee, pee fill and then have right. to worry, don't worry about it. So. Yeah. In the so, meantime, are you going to have to add a veteran at that spot? Oh, no, no. Especially the two guys we drafted, we think are going to be really good. So. What, what kind of uh, sense of relief is that to know that you'll have him back that same? Well, I mean, yeah, you know, we know injuries are, you know, part of the game, and you know, I think we feel a lot better about the position this year than we did last year. If it would have happened last year, you know, it would have been way different story. Where you know, we think we're, you know, and that's I think that was kind of how we. When we came into this thing, we said we were going to build through the draft, and that was the depth and all that stuff was going to take care of itself. And I think now we're at a position where we have depth at some positions, so we can get away with you know, some of these things where we couldn't in the last couple of years. Could either guy, either rookie, fill in there? Or oh yeah, you know, I think we, we've talked about it. And Dick's talked about it. Where we, we'd really like to go left and right, where they both can play the one and the three technique. I saw we may have to do a little uh, report or uh, <laughs> update on that because there was some talk about the one and three would make no sense. It wasn't right what I read. So, but yeah, but we so we can do it either way. We can survive uh, by moving guys around. We, you know, we'd like it in a perfect world, go left and right. But if we have to go one and three, we can do that too. Tom, how, how much better is this team now than when you guys came here in, in 2010? Well, I mean, it's easy to sit here and say we think we're a lot better. But you know, until we start winning more than five games, uh, you, we can't say that. But we we we're really excited about this year. We really are. We, like I said, I think we can overcome some of the things that probably last couple years. Uh, we could, you know, and uh, you know, even the guys we drafted the first year, they're they're two years into this thing, so they're not rookies anymore. There's not going to be the rookie mistakes. There's not going to be the learning curves, where we think a lot of that stuff uh, is going to help. And uh, we think, you know, some of these close games that we've lost over the years, hopefully we can win. What has stood out um, about Brandon Wheaton since he showed up in Berea for for that rookie mini camp? We were in? Um, I don't think anything stood out. I mean, different than what we we you know, he's got a strong arm. He's accurate, and he's a very good leader and he's smart so the, you know the picking up the offense was nothing for him so yeah nothing really you know it's, it's and I think that's what you want you you want the guys that not, not that they don't stand out they they're the guys you thought they were and, and most of the, the the guys we have we think that's the case where you know you hate to have a guy say oh you know boy we didn't know that you know he wasn't as smart as we thought he was or something like that which I uh, knock on wood so far so good I mean you hear the competition we're drawing around yeah quarterback is there a difference between like they're going to compete for the job and there's an open competition where you know we you divide the snaps evenly and whoever plays better gets the job? You know, I think that's you know I, Pat can answer that better, but you know I think when we say open competition, the best guy's going to play. I mean that's that's the way it is. But we drafted Brandon Wheaton to be that guy. I mean, draft got twenty second in the draft. You, you think he's going to be that guy? So uh, you know you can write it and talk about it however you want. The best guy's going to play, but we fully expect Brandon to be that guy. Now if he's not. Colt looks plays better than than or Seneca whoever, 
Uh, but you know, right now that's that's our goal is to have him be the guy. How surprised would you be if he's not the guy in week one? Oh, I don't know. I mean, that's it's hard to say. You know, and, yeah, that's that's Pat's call. So you know, yeah, that's a better answer for a better question for Pat. Could you conceive of Colt and Seneca both returning? Yeah, I really could. Yeah, you know, it's a, you know, and they're you know, and you know, this is another question you have to ask those guys. But when when it happened, I don't know if they were shocked or you know, when we drafted Brandon. But you know, they've both been great. I mean, uh, even Thad Lewis, where I mean, those guys they're professionals. They they know the situation. You know, there's always gonna be guys coming in and and out, and so they're okay with that. So I don't think you know, there's not gonna be. We can't. One guy's to say, well, I can't do this, or you know, it's not gonna be a big deal.